Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about this for a minute before I go to bed about um, my experience with salvia, and in particular, um, not smoking it, but um, last night I had just a long series of dreams. Um, I guess I'll, I'll backdrop it with over the past few days, I've been doing low doses of salvia. Um, between like one, two, or three times a day, um, just like 10, 12 milligrams, and, um, but it's definitely been enough to get me just, just going into some really deep trips, um, really traversing, um, out of my body and just expanding out of my body, and, um, just getting some pretty radical perspectives on what it means to be um, in my body, what it means to be me, and how my family and friends, this whole narrative story that I'm living out, how that all relates to that, um, which is another story, but I just wanted to just mention the fact that, yeah, last night I was having lots of dreams, like, throughout the whole night, just very vivid. It's right now. I don't remember them. I didn't write them down. Um, they, um, they kind of faded, but it was just a very long, continuous storyline, seemingly for hours. Um, and then, it, uh, I think probably like a couple times during the dreams, um, I started to my awareness within the dream instead of being just kind of a character, like regular um, me character, just in a dream or me being someone in the dream, um, my awareness really expanded out in, in the way it expands out in, in my salvia trips. Um, just this kind of dissolution and expansion of, of, of being multiple, multiple people, or, or just beyond being people, but also being just other parts of the dream, parts of the landscape, maybe parts of the buildings, um, but also uh, um, being in a visual and experiential sensorial way, um, the relation of the different parts, the different people to each other um, in a very strange, expansive way that, um, I mean, during the Salvia trips, it's you're in that state, and it's just like, oh, of course, you know, of course, this is, this is just a way of being, that, uh, when I'm in my current reality that I am right now, this is a very, just, it's very limited, it's very constrained, it's, it's by no means normal, it's just what is going on right now, and then during the salvia trips, it's, that's considered more normal, it's considered more, um, what's the word? proliferant, I can't think of the right word right now, um, throughout the universe, it's like, it's a more, it's more common than this current way of being, just being one person, um, so yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, bring that up, like, I'm curious to know if anybody else has experienced that in their dreams, I've, I've experienced in the past several months ago, um, having a dream, and in the dream, I believe I, I smoked it, or at least thought I smoked it in the dream, and then I began to have a, a DMT trip. Um, it was like a mild DMT trip, but it was definitely, uh, uh, it was definitely experienced and remembered in the dream when I, when I woke up, just going, wow, that was definitely just a very different kind of dream, and it's almost as if my body knew kind of the territory, or because I've, I've induced these trips by smoking, it, like in that particular instance, the DMT, and it somehow opened a door that, with more and more practice, I could probably have better access to, and more control over, um, yeah.
Well, this will probably be my first video. So, just curious to know what anybody else thinks. If, if anybody else wants to post their DMT or, in particular, Salvi experiences, um, um, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear other people what they're experiencing versus recording yourself doing it. I really just want to hear, you know, what it's like for you and what your interpretations are and what this could mean on a more like global community like community scale as far as people experimenting with this and what it actually means to you and how, how this relates to just what's going on with these times we're living you know um, yeah thank you